All right, welcome to my July 10th live item shop review video. So today is the day that all the 4th of July stuff as well as all the summer stuff was supposed to be removed. Let's see if that's actually the case that would significantly shrink down the size of this shop. So we have the FNCS Chapter 5 Season 1 bundle as well as the FNCS Global Championship 2023 bundle, both making a return here. Now remember, the FNCS skins used to be limited time only. So when these came to the shop, they would release and then be in the shop a few days and then never come back again. However, I think it was with this bundle right here that they stopped doing that. So that's why these keep returning and then they continue that trend with this one as well as all the rest of them. So this is Champion Stashed, which is one of my favorites because the color scheme is amazing. The pickaxe is amazing. The wrap is amazing. This actually looks like a music pack. Why is it showing the wrap right there? I don't know. I mean, that's 100% the jam track and the lobby music pack. That's strange. So this bundle's pretty good. This one actually has two skins and the color scheme here is nice as well. So this is a huge bundle and it also comes with a contrail. Wow, that looks absolutely messed up. Hold on, let's try that again. There it is. There's a pretty sweet emote, the victory trophy. Trophy gets bigger and bigger. And then you've also got the breakthrough music pack. So that's a great bundle. Both of these are pretty sweet. Moving on down, we have the double agent pack still. Let's see when that leaves. This one goes away tomorrow. So this is your last chance to get the double agent pack bundle. Moving on down, we got the Escape Artist Bundle returning. That's Alias and Caper. These are pretty good skins. A lot of people were super hyped about these. So you can make some really incredible combos with these, including some extremely rare ones if you have some rare sprays. And it also comes with a lot of sprays too. But some sprays are extremely hard to get and you can show them off on your skin, which is pretty sweet. Individually, they're 1200, which is a pretty fair price in my opinion, although you don't get a back bling, unfortunately. Jittershock is back, so I did do a full gameplay and review on him. I was pleasantly surprised, although if you hate standing out, you're not going to like this skin at all. Luckily, they give you a animation off style, but you're still that crazy bright color scheme, so you don't have the lightning effect, but yeah, you're still going to stand out pretty well. His pickaxe, by the way, is the same. You can turn the animation off. Valkyrie's back, but unfortunately, she's one of those outdated skins that never got updated. 2,000 V-Bucks, no styles, just a backplay. They should include this glider in that bundle for 2,000 because this is 1,500 in and of itself. If they merge those two together, 2,000 would be perfect. Clean Groove is back, 500. That's not bad. And then we've got Lazy Shuffle. I like the music on that one. Moving on down, we got Clash and Scarlet Commander. Those are some pretty decent 800 V-Buck skins. Unfortunately, Clash does not have another style, whereas Scarlet Commander, she has three, making this the much better value. My favorite is the tiger style, lowercase, by the way. They typed all that in lowercase, very strange. The awesome ballerina emote is back, plus the awesome infectious. Both of those are really good. Ravage is back. She's, again, a little overpriced, but she does come with a unique contrail. This is the only way to get the dark feathers one. So Iron Beak is back. But that's not Iron Beak. On the right is Iron Beak, but the image for this is not right. That is what it looks like right there. So what it's showing is the Twilight Strikers. Now, on the item shop, this is showing up as new. But somehow I already own it. So I'm a little confused by this. It says it came out in Chapter 2, Season 1. But on all the item shop bots, this is showing up as new. And like I said, I already owned it, so now I'm a little confused. So let's investigate this real quick. Beacons is Caution and Clash. So Clash obviously is in the item shop right now. So this is her pickaxe. But why is it showing up as new? Let me take a look at some of my old videos and see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I found it. It took a lot of YouTubing, but I eventually found my video that showcased this pickaxe. So this was way back in Chapter 2, Season 1. So Valentine's Day in 2020 in Fortnite was called Love and War. And as you can see right here, you had 12 days and 4 hours to complete these quests. So this event was all about an LTM game mode called Search and Destroy. You had to play it quite a bit to get all these unlocked, but you can see that the third reward down is the same pickaxes that are in the shop right now. So if this is showing up as new for you, that's why. Either you didn't play in 2020, Valentine's Day, or you did and you just never got this quest complete. But these were 100% free in Valentine's Day of 2020. 
So it's not often they release these free rewards that were from challenges. In fact, they almost never do that. So I have no idea why they did it now. And now that I think about it, why were these Valentine's Day rewards in the first place? They go with Clash. She's not a Valentine's Day skin. I don't know. But that's where they originated from. And now you have to pay, what is it, 500 V-Bucks if you want. Looks like Alan Wake is back as well. The Halloween skin Alan Wake of the Gaming Legends series. So I've never played his game before, but I heard it's one of the best games ever. And of course, you get the messenger bag back playing you get the dark place lamp which is pretty sweet as a pickaxe and the dark place wrap as well which says find alice so the skin itself is kind of bland but i mean that's what he looks like then we've got the invincible bundle still here when does this leave it leaves tomorrow as well plus the gear the reload squads are all still here they have not updated that at all the newer locker bundle still remains this will be here until tomorrow as well and Metallica is going to be here until August, so we're going to be seeing this for quite some time. But yes, they did remove all the 4th of July and all the summer stuff. Raiden is still here. And the gear for festival, plus the jam tracks. New ones tomorrow, by the way. The vehicle stuff is all still here. Lego stuff still here as well. So yes, they did remove quite a bit of stuff from the shop. And even more stuff is going to be removed tomorrow, July 11th. But the highlight of this shop is, number one, Alan Wake has returned if you missed out on him. And the Twilight Strikers, the once free reward from 2020, is now in the shop for 500 V-Bucks. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.